Hola chicos, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos de vuelta a mi canal. Welcome back. Mi nombre es Virginia. Estoy acá para ayudarlos a aprender español. So we're here to learn Spanish and I'm here to help you step by step throughout the whole course. We are in level A1 now, but we'll continue until we are native, fluent, yes? Remember that you need to um, speak the language as well, and this is very important. I will be teaching you, but you need, and that's your responsibility, um, to leave your comfort zone, not to be scared of mistake, of making mistakes, of sounding silly. If you listen to me speaking Russian, trust me, I sound, I sound bad. <laughs> so, Um, but I don't care. I, I meet a teacher once or twice every time I have the possibility, and that's very important, and I highly recommend you do the same. I leave below comment, um, I leave below links where you can uh, join uh, my programs or you can, um, I don't know, look for a language exchange or other ways in which you can um, practice the language. Yes, this is the last, today's the last class of Unit 2 of the book Aula Internacional 1. This book is used by most language schools. Um, and yes, I work in many language schools. This is a complete course. If you missed the previous um, lessons, I suggest you go and watch them. This is a playlist. And if you like them and they're useful, please support this channel. It helps me to grow, to keep helping you and to, to spend as much time as I have to be here helping everyone in the world. It's a, it's a pleasure for me. ¿Sí? Bien, vamos a ir con la última lección. This is not the last lesson. Let me see where the last lesson is. Ignore this slide. It's not. You can find these slides um, in my, on my website. This is the one. Yeah. Um, so if you need to write down or you can buy the book or you can download the slides on my website uh, to, to revise, and the, the, the links are there too, ¿sí? Bien, bueno, tenemos clase 3, unidad 2, es la última clase de la unidad 2. Mañana, unidad 3. Unidad 3 is very important unit, ¿sí? Also this one. All of them are important. Bueno, but like two and three are probably the most important ones. Tenemos repaso, siempre empezamos con uh, revision, ¿sí? Intenciones. Ojo, intenciones, ¿sí? So if we speak about intentions, it's not something that is happening already, that it happens, but that we want to happen. It's an intention. So we use a verb for that. I hope you remember. It's actually here. ¿Qué quieren hacer? Ana y Rocío este fin de semana. Ojo, que es plural. Ana y Rocío, ¿qué quieren hacer? Miramos las fotografías. ¿Sí? Y tenemos que pensar o escribir o decir qué quieren hacer Ana y Rocío este fin de semana. ¿Mm? A ver, ok. Quieren ir de compras, ¿sí? Quieren pasear, to go for a walk, o quieren caminar. Quieren hacer deporte y quieren salir a cenar. ¿Mm? I always show you the, the answers in the next slide, but please don't cheat. Pause the video, try to do it first, and then you check with the answers. Mm. This is very important. Bien, repaso, por, para y por qué. Remember, they have a different structure. ¿Por qué estudian español? Observamos, por qué estudian, por, para, por qué. ¿Sí? Les doy unos minutos para pensar. Vamos a controlar, ahí está. Por sus estudios. Mm. O podemos decir para terminar la universidad mm. o por un examen. Para viajar por Centroamérica. These are just suggestions, ¿sí? Para viajar por Centroamérica. Para chatear con amigos y porque su novio es chileno, ¿sí? 
Remember, you can say it differently using, for example, here, as I said, we can use para. We can say para estudiar instead of por sus estudios o porque quiere estudiar. ¿Mm? Bueno, vamos a ver el artículo determinado. Artículo, el, la, los, las. So, in um, Spanish, we use the article and they change depending on whether it's feminine, masculine, plural, or singular. In English, it would be the, the article the, like the mountain. Mm -hmm. Here we see the different, the different ones. Observa los artículos y las terminaciones del sustantivo. Entonces, montaña, eso es una montaña, mountain, montaña, termina en a. Entonces es la montaña, femenino. Curso, termina en o, el curso. Comida, curso is course, a language course, for example, this course. Comida, sí, la comida. Noche, night, termina en e, la noche. Museo o el museo. Historia, la historia. Teatro, el teatro. Cine, el cine. Película, la película. Clase, la clase. Plato, el plato. Baile, el baile. Y los plurales, las montañas, los cursos, las comidas, las noches, plurals finish in S, ¿sí? And also the article has an S. ¿Mm? Ahora, ojo, what's the rule? When is it feminine? When do we use la? When do we use la? Because, eh, el, sorry. Um, because if you pay attention, for example, okay, in most cases, finishing in a, we use la, right? And in most of the nouns finishing in o, we use el. Is that correct? But look at this. Noche, with an a, with an e, sorry, una e, is la noche. So we say, okay, if it finishes in e, then it will be la. But what happens here? Look at that. Cine finishes in e, and it's el. So what's going on? See? Um, o, por ejemplo, mano. Mano, hand, mano, termina en O y es la mano. Vamos a ver eso entonces. Los nombres terminados en A normalmente son femeninos. That means usually, not always. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, agua, decimos el agua también. Los nombres terminados en O como mano normalmente, generalmente, son masculinos. Los nombres terminados en E, pero recuerden que hay excepciones, ¿sí? Los, norme, los nombres terminados en E son eh, femeninos y masculinos, depende. El plural de él es los. Por ejemplo, el museo, los museos. El plural de la es las. La playa, las playas. ¿Mm? Um, how do I know this? You might say, okay, when do I know if it is an exception? There's no rule for exceptions. You just need to be exposed to the language, listen, read, listen, listen, interact with the natives and then with other students and you will incorporate it and you will then just know Um, when it's uh, el o la, with the exceptions, yes. But in general, um, the feminines end in a and the masculines in o. And uh, neutral, I mean, it could be either both, uh, either feminine or masculine a with a e, e, yeah. That's tricky. I'll be saying the letters in Spanish because then you will think that this is e, like in English. We say e, and that's a tricky one. To remember. Bien. Um, observamos con verbos y preposiciones. So, the prepositions following verbs. 
quiero conocer, I want to see, to meet, to, to see. I want to see the city. Quiero conocer la ciudad. Quiero visitar a, so here we add an a, a mis compañeros de clase. So here nothing, here we add a. Quiero visitar a. Quiero aprender español, nothing. Quiero practicar español. Quiero estudiar español. Quiero descubrir la ciudad. Ahí usamos la. Quiero ir a la playa, al cine, a bailar de compras. ¿Mm? Ojo, a la playa. Ir a un lugar. It's like to go to a place, ¿sí? Ir a la playa, ir al cine, ir a bailar, ir de compras. To go shopping. Pero usamos de, no usamos a. ¿Sí? Hacer fotos. Here nothing. Salir a bailar. Salir con mis compañeros. To go dancing. Salir a bailar. Salir con. To go with my colleagues. Salir de noche. To go out at night. ¿Mm? So sometimes we use no preposition. Sometimes we use a. Sometimes we use de. Sometimes we use con. So please pay attention. Mm -hmm. Again, to remember this, you need to be exposed, repeat, listen, watch films. In my program, um, Master Spanish, the idea is exactly that. You have a platform where you have films. We have events with um, Netflix uh, movies, books. We have the magazine so that you can read, you can write, you can practice and get familiar with the language in all different ways. It's not just the class. Yes, this is the first step to learn a language, but it shouldn't be the final step. And there are a lot of other things that I'm inviting you to do here below that you should do it um, if you want to see um, a difference, yes, in the way that, that you speak and, and that you remember things. Hmm? Bueno, ¿qué hacen estas personas? No que quieren hacer. ¿Qué hacen? What do they do, these people? Hmm? What, do, what do they do? Not what they want to do. What is it that they do already connected to the Spanish uh, culture and language? ¿Qué hacen estas personas? Observemos. Sí, si es plural, singular, pensemos, escribimos. Vamos a ver las respuestas sugeridas. Ellos bailan tango, ¿sí? Porque es plural ellos. Ella escucha música. Ella lee en español. ¿Mm? Entonces, ojo, la diferencia entre querer, intention, ¿Mm? something that is not happening already, if I use querer. And something that I do already, is, yo estudio, yo hablo, yo vivo, etc. ¿Sí? It's the present that we saw the previous class. Bien, entonces, hemos terminado la unidad 2. Muy bien, muy bien. Tenemos ejercicios extras. Um, in the PDFs, I add extra exercises. There are a lot, but we will not do them in class. Remember, if you want these PDFs, you find them on my website. I leave the, the links below. I'm here every day to teach you from 15 to 20, to 30 minutes, depending on how difficult the class is. And um, I hope this is useful. As I said, um, I'm also helping you in this first level with English. In the schools, they, they try not to speak English, but as I said, you are here just watching a video. You don't have me to ask you like live here, um, answering questions. And if you come from a language that is completely different, it might be very, very challenging. That's why I need to use some way of communicating and explaining to you how the language works, because these are your very, very first steps. Just imagine that you're a baby and you're trying to understand what's going on. What are these people saying? What's happening? And um, and it's a, a little scary at the beginning, but, um, but you are already doing something different. You're leaving your comfort zone. You're not, you know, watching TV, sapping, doing nothing. You're you're trying to learn something new and learning something is the biggest investment that you could you could possibly invest on. I'm always learning something. I'm learning about business because I run my business. I I, I always learn languages. 
and I always loved learning because it's the only thing that that no one can take away from you. See, and don't says, and it will open so many doors, so many possibilities. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be living here if I couldn't speak English because it's not my native language and I live in England. Okay. Bien. Muchísimas gracias. Nos vemos entonces mañana con la unidad 3 que vamos a ver ser, estar y hay. Mm -hmm. Muy buen fin de semana. Gracias. Chao, chao.